The 16 elders that we find in painting and sculpture in Himalayan art is a very difficult subject because there's many different ways that the uh, individual elders can be depicted as well as there's many different kinds of painting styles and sculptural styles and often well with sculpture all of the figures are, are created individually and with paintings um, sometimes we have all of the figures of the elders in a, a single composition, but then other times we can have them spread over a, a set of 23 individual painted compositions or a set of, of three or five or seven or eleven. There's different, there's different ways uh, that the, the, each of the figures can be divided up between compositions. Uh, now, it's nothing religious or doctrinal. It's merely artists coming up with clever ways to uh, to make uh, paintings and composition sets. It's also much cheaper to make a set of three paintings depicting all the figures from the uh, Shakyamuni and the Sixteen Elders than it is to make a painting set of uh, 23 or, God forbid, uh, 25 paintings. So... What I'd really like to do is draw your attention to a, to a single set of paintings uh, that depict uh, the, the full number of figures. Now, the full number of figures is always 25. Nobody paints arhats individually. Arhats have no real meaning individually. There, there's, no, there's no religious traditions of, of texts or meditation practices or mind training. There's nothing specific to any of the 16 elders that would uh, make it uh, a reason to create an individual sculpture or a painting just of that elder. The elders belong together as a group. Now, I say elders because that's a translation of the Sanskrit word uh, stavira. Stavira is the Sanskrit word for the Tibetan word natan. Natan is, is the word used for these 16 figures. Now, in the West, we often use the word arhat. In China, they use the word lohan. Now, in China, back around the 4th century AD, the, the, the Chinese scholars, they tended to translate the word stavira and arhat as the same as lohan. So if you look up lohan in Chinese dictionaries, then it'll say from the Sanskrit arhat and stavira. But in the Tibetan tradition, and what I know of the Indian Sanskrit tradition, uh, a stavira is different than an arhat. They're, they're not the same thing. So, and the Tibetan tradition always uses the word naten, which is stavira. So we do have a... Um, uh, a confusion in language and a little bit of a of a problem with understanding exactly what's going on here but in terms of art we understand very clearly we have these 16 figures in china they call it the 18 figures but we're talking about a specific set of uh, a full set of uh, 23 paintings because the uh, two uh, main students of the Buddha are always depicted in the same composition, painted composition, with him. So that makes 23 paintings with uh, Buddha, two students, 16 elders, two attendants, four guardian kings. Now, this particular set we're looking at, uh, it's complete, but it's also really interesting because it was a gift of the third Pension Lama to the Chenlong Emperor of China in the 18th century. But the main figures in the landscape are actually based on a Chinese model uh, designed during the time of the Yongle Emperor. So that's really around it's really around uh, 1410, 1415. Uh, it's the early 15th century. And a number of these sets of, uh, of paintings of the 16 elders were given to Tibet and then were later copied by Tibetans. So this set here, given to the Chenlong Emperor by the Third Pension Lama, is following the Yongle Emperor's uh, compositional design for the main figure and the landscape. But all of the detail work and the, uh, the secondary figures that are in the upper portions of the painting where we have a Tibetan or an Indian uh, religious teacher, plus we have a deity. And these are all done in the Kienri style. All of the design of the robes and the faces, all of the detail work, shade and color is all done according 
according to the the Kinry painting tradition. So it's just a wonderful example of two painting traditions that have been merged in Tibet. One purely a Chinese tradition of the Yunglo Emperor using blue-green stone and lots of uh, landscape with uh, uh, green grass, mountains, and uh, trees and shrubs. And this is incorporated in along with the the uh, Kinry tradition, painting traditions, which are also very much dependent upon upon Nepal and the uh, what the types of paintings and murals that we would find at uh, Gyantse, uh in the Kumbum and in the uh, Gyantse Magun, the main uh, temple there. So, this painting set, which is a, a palace museum, our huts or, or Stavira set number three, is just a wonderful example uh, to use for studying uh, the the sixteen elders and the accompanying figures: the the Dharmatala, the Hashang, the four guardian kings, but of course the Shakyamuni and the two uh, main students, Shariputra and Modgalyayana. This is a very very good set. It's one of the best sets that I know of. Uh, for late period, which is 18th century.